Gail, I know mm -hmm. you and I have talked a lot about yes, this, and we have. it takes a lot of courage for these women to come forward, mm -hmm. and I think that they should continue to do something. To, to we do hope so. that they will continue to speak up. Yeah. Um, I also want to say this, that this is a moment that demands a frank and honest assessment about where we stand and more generally the safety of women. Let me be very clear, there is no excuse for this alleged behavior. It is systematic and pervasive, and I've been doing a lot of listening, and I'm going to continue to do that. This I know is true. Women cannot achieve equality in the workplace or in society until there is a reckoning and a taking of responsibility. I'm really proud to work at CBS News. There are so many incredible people here, especially on this show, mm -hmm. all of you here. This will be investigated. This has to end. This behavior is wrong, period. Uh, I, I certainly echo that. And I, I, I have to say, Nora, I really am still reeling. Uh, I got an hour and 42 minutes of sleep last night. Both my son and my daughter called me. Oprah called me and said, are you okay? I am not okay. Uh, after reading that article in the Post, it was deeply disturbing, troubling, and painful for me to read. Uh, that said, I think we have to make this matter to women, the women that have spoken up, the women who have not spoken up because they're afraid. I'm hoping that now they will take the step to speak out too, that this becomes a moment of, of truth. You know, I've enjoyed a, a friendship and a partnership with Charlie for the past five years. I've held him in such high regard, and I'm really struggling because how do you, what do you say when someone that you deeply care about has done something that is so horrible? How do you wrap your brain around that? I'm really grappling with that. Um, that said, Charlie does not get a pass here. He doesn't get a pass from anyone in this room. We are all deeply affected. We are all rocked by this. And I, I want to echo what Nora said. I really applaud the women that speak up despite the friendship. He doesn't get a pass because I can't stop thinking about the anguish of, the, of these women. What happened to their dignity? What happened to their bodies? What happened maybe to even their careers? I can't stop thinking about that and the pain that they're going through. I also find that it's, it's, you can hold two ideas in your head at the same time. You can grapple with things. And I, to be very honest with you, I'm still trying to process all of this. I'm still trying to sort it out because this is not the man I know. But I'm also clearly on the side of the women who have been very hurt and very damaged by this. And I'm going to, you know, I haven't spoken to him. Have you spoken to him? Mm -mm. I, I haven't spoken to him. I intend to speak to him certainly later today. But I'm very sorry, and I'm very glad that they have spoken up. Well said. We are going to continue to do our reporting on this story and other allegations that have come forward. And no, we're going to continue. Can I just to say this, Nora? We have a great team here, and we are all, as you said, very committed to bringing you the news, even when it affects us yeah. so deeply. None of us ever thought that we'd be sitting at this table in particular telling this story, but here we are. But we will continue to report the news as we always have.